Hey everyone and welcome back to a brand new Call of Duty Warzone 3 tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can fix lag on Warzone 3 and essentially get better game performance. So lag can come in many different forms. It could be that you shoot somebody before they shoot you but somehow they're still killing you. That lag between the game registering that you shot and sending them over to the other person um, can occur. There can be laggers in your jumping around mid game like you're walking a bit, you're freezing, you're jumping, you're freezing, you're jumping. So I'm going to show you how to fix that as well. Now often these problems come from that your game is trying to download too much data at once and it can't quite do it. So in essence, what you want to do is make sure you're on a game, I'm on Warzone Battle Royale right now, Warzone 3. Find somewhere safe, press the options button, and go over to the settings cog. Now, once you're on the settings cog, you want to scroll down until you get to graphics. Select graphics, and the first thing that you see is on-demand texture streaming. Now, what this is, is essentially how good a quality uh, the visuals are that you're experiencing during the game. You want to disable this if you're getting extreme lag. Now, of course, the game subsequently does not look as vibrant or as pretty. Um, you can notice a slight difference here from when I turned it off versus on. But essentially what this does is it stops the game from using your internet to make it look really pretty and render every small detail. And it just focuses on giving you arguably uh, that, that internet connection can be filed into giving a more stable gameplay experience and more stable um, connection with the fundamentals of the game as opposed to uh, the actual detail in the buildings and so on. So if you are experiencing lag that's noticeable, give this a go and hopefully it will fix it.